This video is focused on the Iron Age, which is obviously named for the development of ironworking technology. However, there's an irony here, as none of the artefacts that we're about to show you are actually made of iron, as it really doesn't survive in the archaeological record very well. What we've got here is a selection of Iron Age artefacts, and I'm going to start with these ones over here. They're from a site called Polden Hill, which becomes important later during the Roman period. But in the meantime, what we have are these amazing examples of what's known as Laten art style. And Laten is, unsurprisingly by the name, it's a French site. It's um, it, right down towards the Alps. And this style of art is absolutely beautiful. And it's composed of these lovely symmetrical designs, usually incorporating circles. And quite often there are hidden animals. So that could be a really fun activity to try and spot or design your own Laten styles. Here's another example, once again, making use of symmetry in their designs. And originally, all these little cells would have been filled with brightly colored enamel, which is made by mixing glass and melting it together to make these really beautiful, brightly colored inlays. And it's not only in this kind of highly elaborate art that we're seeing innovation and development, we're also seeing it in the types of object people are using. And this strange little object is something that you might want to have a guess what this is game with, but it's actually called a terret ring. And this is a type of artifact that's still in use today. And what it's for is a horse's reins will go right through it if you're driving a chariot. There are some lovely videos of reconstructed chariots where you can see these in use. And there are loads of different designs for these which your learners could have great fun with. And this one is called a lipped terret and you can see why when you look at the lips like this. We also have really lovely figurative designs. So it's not just about those swirling abstract Latin styles. We also have gorgeous little pieces of sculpture. And this is a boar, a stylized wild boar. And they're a wonderful little symbol. You could have a really good time talking about all the possible symbolism imbued in, in different animals during the Iron Age if you wanted to. This is probably a vessel mount, so using it to decorate um, objects that are being used for feasting. And that's another phenomenon that's really important during the Iron Age. People are also starting to explore the representation of the human form. And what they're probably doing is trying to explore what it means to be part of a community and to understand what a person's identity might be. This absolutely incredible little face was found at a really famous Somerset site, South Cadbury Hillfort. And you may be very interested in looking to see if there are hillforts near you that you can visit. 